Is everything well, dear? Is everything well, dear? Is everything well, dear? They told me Lucullus is your Patronus now. That means our family reputation will be restored. That and more. Lucius Luiana! It's so good to see you again, Mother. And brother, you're back! Isn't that a beautiful sight? You are the patriarch of this family now. The well-being of it is your primary concern. The villa is yours. All of your rights are restored. Congratulations. I don't know how we can ever repay you, Lucius. There's no need to repay anything. You of all people should know that, Claudiana. This was not a transaction. I'll keep that in mind. Is that it? But what Don't is there? worry, Claudiana. No one can harm your family as long as I am alive. Everything will be fine. Good morning, dear. Have you slept well? Cat standing guard. Against whom? Will they stop the northern barbarians by their sheer fluffiness? I heard in the East, people think that cats guard the gates of the underworld.
It is always wise to be careful. There is a thing. He asked to see you, Lorco. He says he has a business proposition. It might still be a good idea to figure out what he's up to. Do be careful, though. Whatever you do, be careful. Gardening is the pinnacle of civil. He became too aggressive when I turned him down. What happened? Dayanera had a stern talk with him, and it seems he got the message. That woman is worth her. Do you need me? Gold. Domine. Good morning, Domine. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> you jest, I'm sure. If anything, I've grown a bigger belly. The wine doesn't help. I can't think of a reason why he would not be doing well. I've heard Nasamones is a land of forbidden pleasures. Alas, it's too far away. But uh, speaking of our friends in high places, it might be worth going to the Senate this afternoon. Tullius Kikaro is holding court there today. You might learn something. It is generating quite a bit of income, even though our recipes are old. The grape seed we have imported from Gallia produces tasteful drink. There's always room for improvement, though. That you do. And I can buy some groceries while we're at it. Have a good night. These damned crows and their indiscriminate defecation.
Salve, Legate. What brings you to the Senate today? That's never a good sign. In my own estimation, I am moderately likable. But that's a question you should ask the people. Unfortunately, the people have the day off. The Senate doesn't have a session today. But I have to talk to my clientes regularly. That is why you can usually find me here. Of course you may. As long as you're willing to give it back when you're done. Neither the Senate nor the Consuls rule Rome. Senators and Consuls are supposed to be subservient to the people. No one but the citizens can know what's best for them. Public servants fulfill their needs and wishes. Senators should represent the people, not rule them. They are subject to their own rules, and not everyone can simply become Roman. What makes you say that? I'm actually quite fond of his company. And that is true. Cato thinks an immoral or obviously guilty client does not deserve defending. I disagree. We broadly believe in the same ideals, though. My duty to the people of Rome. In other words, politics. I am known for defending people's rights, too, when they need it. That saddens me, but it does not surprise me. Our virtues are in steady decline. Many people enter the world of politics for personal gain. For the status it brings, or the money. We must work for the good of our society. It is the will of the gods, and therefore our duty. I disagree. What you're describing is an animal, motivated only with pain or pleasure. Reason is what men and gods have in common. It is what separates us from beasts. That reason must be used for the betterment of mankind. They may, but most of the time they can't. Proper discussion of a case requires skill in rhetorics. Few people are articulate enough to be able to express their problems properly. Instead? Certainly not. I teach people and I defend people, and thus my duties are fulfilled. Our laws are by necessity not specific. 
That is how they apply the same way to all similar situations. There's an underlying principle for our legal system, an intention guiding each regulation. Yet every event is unique. Therefore, every case is one of a kind. Without a firm grasp of that underlying logic, laws cannot successfully be applied to specific situations. Laws should be generic, but not vague. A man can inherently know the harm he has caused, for all our actions are guided by reason. Prior to the writing of Lex Duo Decum Tabularum, our rights were determined by the likes of Tarquinius Superbus. Now they are written down for all to know. It is not that easy, of course. Laws and situations evolve. But at least the rights of our people are not subject to the whims of a madman. True, but not during a trial. A right cannot be taken away after being violated. That would defeat the purpose of declaring rights. Is there anything else you wish to discuss? A fair question. What do you think? Does a person's wealth change the truth? I think it matters. The gods have given us reason, and by reasoning alone we can get closer to the truth. Truth isn't in the eye of the beholder. I defend people because I simply like the art of rhetorics. Furthermore, my defense tests the system. If I can defend a guilty man successfully, that means the system is flawed. Lord's system cannot be just. Certainly not. I'm not a base and vulgar Epicurean who thinks the meaning of life is pleasure and nothing else. That is barbaric, or should I say, animalistic. We are above that kind of selfish behavior. Perhaps. Your argument makes sense, but I still think you're giving them too much credit. Your understanding of the art is probably better than you think. Suppose there is a chest. Inside the chest is something you desire, but the chest is locked. Now, I believe you're the kind of person who would pick that lock, opening it through subtle manipulation and finesse, the same way you tend to manipulate people. But let us suppose you can't do that. What other solution will you try next?
you have noticed that I never said anything about a missing key. You do have a logical mind. Sometimes common sense can lead to a winning argument. Here is my secret. The successful use of Logos hinges not just on actually having the facts on your side, but on your ability to tell a story with them. Present the facts in a clear and compelling way that shows the causal relationship between them, and use that to build a logical foundation for your argument. Rhetorics are always as much about convincing a crowd of spectators as it is about winning over your opponent. Logos is no different in this way. I have enjoyed this discussion, and I hope you have benefited from it. If you'll excuse me now, I have to talk to a client. Wale. Have a good night. Is everything well, dear? Just leave his cup balanced precariously on the railing. How inconsiderate of him.
bandages, fresh medicinal herbs. I'm looking to commission a painting for my bedroom wall. Of course. I'd be delighted to discuss the details. What do you have in mind? Something... I didn't expect you to come around again anytime soon. I'm afraid I have no more ancient artifacts lying around, if that was your hope. I'm sure we can come up with something. I saw her eating with her husband at a perfume. The poor woman having to debase herself like that. <laughs> Things will turn around for this summer. What were you doing at a popino? Not eating there, I hear. Of course you Salwe, it is good to see you after all this time. You have a sharp tongue. <laughs> that unmatched wit of yours will kill me someday. I'm pleased that you did not let our relatively sordid history get in the way of a business transaction. I'm going to respectfully disagree with you. We carve our own path through life. It is up to us to decide through whom we carve. Tell me, do you like managing your family's vineyard? To awaken you, perhaps. I have heard tales of your battles, Legate. You are a wolf. You're the kinsman of Romulus himself. We are very different, you and I. That's why I think we could work together instead of undermining each other. Ah, uh, Tiberius was a fool. His vision was limited and crude. He was a believer in the Republic. I believe Rome is in grave danger. It is nothing new, of course. We always had enemies within and without. 
They always disliked what Rome is and what it stands for. But in the past, Rome used to be a force to be reckoned with. Unsurprisingly, you do understand me. You can't guess how rare that is. We do need a new Rome, though. Unshackled by the limitations of our ancient system and bureaucracy. It will be a Rome of strong minds willing to make difficult decisions. More importantly, it will teach our enemies to never underestimate us again. I have made my preparations, and I want you by my side. You misunderstand. I would never betray Rome. I am planning to run for consul. I'm sure I can convince you of the validity of my cause. What I'm going to show you will shock you. You'll see why Lucullus is in no position to do anything for Rome. I would not hesitate to serve Rome in war, should the opportunity arise. You will not regret listening to my offer. Wale, until next time. Good day. Uh, you are clearly a well-bred young man. Um, I will offer you a choice. Your money, or your life. That can easily be arranged. I was afraid you'd say that. Oh, kill them both. So let hey, people. Shall we even the odds? Your timing is impeccable as usual, Kaisu. You save us again. 
Always a pleasure, old man. Let us not turn this into a habit, though.
Where is Vitellius Lurko, one wonders? In Tartarus, hopefully. But that's not important. A messenger arrived this morning. It is Proconsul Licinius Lucullus. He says I should find you as soon as possible, and you'd know why. If I knew Dominus Lucullus, he would have sent a rider for you with all the instructions. A reasonable precaution. We may soon need their assistance. You should go ahead. I get the feeling time is of the essence.
Have you ever been to Lutetia? They say it's the most romantic city in the world. What? More beautiful than Rome itself? I find that hard to believe. I didn't say beautiful. I said romantic. But what does that mean? It means there are a lot of women. Dominé. It arrived just after noon. The rider insists on giving the message to you. It appears this woman was instructed to meet you here as well. The proconsul just told me to find you. Said you'd know why. I've been tempted to come back and visit you a few times. Things just always got in the way. The message, please. You must leave everything and come to Nazamones immediately. We're in grave danger. And I'm afraid in this case, we refers to both our family and Rome itself. It seems we have underestimated Vitellius Loco. Although the little brother wields no political power of significance, he is the de facto leader of his family. An ambitious man who isn't reckless makes an enemy to be reckoned with. His friendly demeanor masks a molten core of vengeful desire. He still remembers how we dismantled their illegal operations in Asia. And I'm afraid he wants our lives in return. I have reason to believe Lurko is planning something big. My speculatories say he's preparing to remove me from my position in Nazamanes by force and make it look like a local uprising. If he succeeds, Rome is likely to lose control of the entire territory, giving Lurko the perfect excuse to challenge the current consuls. We cannot allow him to go ahead with this plan. I need your help. Reconstitute Legia Wictrix. I know they are still loyal to you. Then sail for Nazamanes immediately. A battle-ready army will be the last thing Lurko would expect. Do not despair. Know that the sun is brightest following the darkest day. See this as an opportunity. If we can turn the tables on Lurko, we can at last expose him for the crook he is. I await your arrival anxiously. Your Patronus and your dear friend, Lucius Lucinius Lucullus. I could not find Calida, but I have brought Bestia. I arrived before any of you did. 
You're looking good, Bestia. You have recovered from our last fight. The injuries were not a problem. But I still owe the Arena Master for all the damages we caused. It is like old times. I guess this means trouble. We should leave as soon as possible, but... I don't think I'll be able to leave Rome so easily. Is this about a woman again? In a way it is. Do you remember that sower who approached us at Marcellus Whipsanius's? Well, it turns out she was telling the truth, at least partly. She has given birth to a baby girl. Thanks, I guess. Apparently she tried to escape from Wipsenius, who incidentally is her Dominus. The problem is, they're blaming me for it. Of course I didn't. If I ever decide to help another man so escape, I will most certainly succeed. She claims to be the mother of my child. Perhaps she is, or perhaps she just knows Wipsenius and his people are naive enough to believe her. Marcellius Wipsenius has a reputation for mistreating his Seraway. Hmm. This may take a few days, but I'm sure we can prove these allegations have no merit. Thank you, Nagate. I will now take care of our preparations. We leave as soon as possible. Be careful, child. Do not worry, Domina. I will make sure we return home safe and sound. Salute, travelers. Welcome to the villa of Lucullus of Africa Proconsularis. State your identity and intentions. My apologies for not recognizing you immediately. It's been a long day. The Proconsul is currently preoccupied. Please wait in the courtyard while I relay the news of your arrival to him. All visitors are subject to our new security procedures. The proconsul specifically said there would be no exceptions. Please, wait here. It shouldn't take long. Legate, a word? I don't think he recognized you. This doesn't smell right. Something's up. Little things. His armor is a bit too small for his body. He never called you by name. And did you notice how he failed to pronounce the proconsul's full name? 
It is said he who possesses a deceptive heart sees only deception in other people's hearts. And it is known that women are deceptive by nature. Wow. And that is why you're old but still single, Cineros. Hmm. Well, to err on the side of caution is wise. Finally, some truth in the old man's world. We should kill them all. Oh, well, that is not exactly what I was going to propose. In fact, it's quite the opposite of Killing what I... everyone is the most cautious option. Are you sure you know the meaning of that word? So what if he's rude and his behavior is not proper? Obviously, he's not Roman. Not really. If we will fight, I am ready. If you wish. I don't think it's necessary, though. 